In late 2003, early 2004, over in Iraq, at a place called Abu Ghraib Prison, run by American military personnel, prisoners there were victims of some of the most horrendous physical, psychological, and sexual torture and abuse ever to be documented. The world was outraged. Many people argued that it was just a bunch of bad apples. Many people, except for Philip Zimbardo, who has been through this before, and argues that it's not the apples that are bad, it's the tree. Coming to the conclusion that good people could do bad things given the right situation and within the right system. It was 1971 when Philip Zimbardo arranged to have 10 students arrested by real cops to play out the role of prisoner. They were brought to this mock prison that was set up at Stanford University in the basement where there were 11 guards that were waiting for them. Now all 11 guards and the 10 prisoners were all students who were paid $15 a day to be able to play this role. Now Philip Zimbardo specifically picked students with a moderate demeanor who had no past criminal history record and who were representative of their peers. Zimbardo explained that the purpose of the experiment was to see how the students would react in the social roles of playing either prisoners or guards. The guards jumped right into the roles of abusive prisoner guards. And the prisoners jumped right into the role of submissive prisoners. Now the guards were instructed that there should be no physical violence whatsoever. However, they found a way to make the psychological and sexual abuse just as bad. This continued for over six days until a third party saw what was going on and urged Zimbardo to stop this experiment at once. Several of the prisoners had to be let out early due to extreme psychological adverse effects. Although the experiment was terminated early, it was a success. It was a success because Zimbardo was able to demonstrate that this evil that was occurring wasn't necessarily because of the individual. It wasn't the demeanor of all the different people and the participants. The evil that was occurring was inherent within the system itself, and it was also part of the social situation. This experiment, now over 40 years old, caused a lot of people to take another look at our justice system. The American justice system is largely found on the idea of personal responsibility. The idea that there are good and there are bad people. But how does this play out when we have to take the situation into account? Or the system in which the situation occurs? Nobody is suggesting that we do away with personal responsibility. What is being suggested is that we take a closer look at the social situation as well as the system in which that situation occurs. Once we do that, we'll have a better understanding of what justice means as well as morality.